I'm Kevin, still from Rich Tech. Uh, it's my pleasure to join the conference. Yeah. The following topic is uh, why this power service design and solution outline. Uh, I'm going to introduce the presented uh, core design and solution process and then talk about the development of an inductive wise power service design and solutions. The last uh, uh, more features uh, wireless charging will be addressed. There are two major uh, wireless power standards, WPC and uh, LQ Alliance. Yeah. And today, my presentation will focus on the uh, inductive and resonant uh, wireless power solution. Uh, this picture shows the MIT research team power 6 watt light bulb and the distance of two meters. Yeah. In this picture, you can see the coil is huge yeah. compared to the uh, coil used in the consumer product. Yeah. Uh, for the con consumer application, uh, the coil must be uh, fixed to the mobile device and consider the low uh, cost consideration. Here is the equivalent circuit of the coil. Uh, you can see the, the ZEQ is the refracted impedance from the receiver side, uh, which is related to the mutual inductance and the, the parameter in the receiver loop. Uh, with, with the transmitter current, the receiver side can induce the output voltage. Yeah. For coiling the efficiency, we can calculate the efficiency uh, from the real impedance in transmitter side and the receiver side. The point of ma maximum uh, maximum link efficiency uh, can be defined from the equation. And uh, the equation shows uh, the maximum link efficiency. For higher efficiency, uh, we need a uh, higher value of KQ product. Yeah. As to the optimal output efficiency condition, you can see uh, here is the negative reactance. It means uh, a capacitor is necessary to compensate the, the reactance at, at the receiver side yeah. for the receptive load. Okay. On the right hand side, there are uh, three coil question. Uh, which one has the highest efficiency? Okay. The answer is uh, coil C uh, because of the high KQ product value. Resonant wise power. The resonant wise uh, transmitter design consideration, uh, I recommend to use the approved trans, uh, transmitter coil. Uh, the reason is the, the electromagnetic field strain are verified and uh, uh, we can pass the product certification more easily. Yeah. And uh, the effect of refracted impedance and solution must be considered. Of course, the accuracy call your current control and the maximum power limit are required. The refracted impedance. Here, refracted impedance include the real power and the imaginary power. The real impedance related to the upper power at the receiver side and uh, the imaginary impedance is related to the receiver the metal or uh, magnetic uh, material and uh, the location of the uh, receiver. So we can see the, this is an example of the uh, effect of the re refracted impedance. Uh, this is a class 3 resonator, which 
drive by a full bridge current speed or amplifier. If the in, uh, impedance is just only If the impedance is just uh, have the real power only, uh, this switch can operate uh, at uh, DCS operation for high efficiency. The output power can be at uh, 16 watt. If the uh, impedance change with uh, eventually impedance 40 ohm, uh, the output power will reduce from 16 watt to 4.7 watt. A straightforward solution is to uh, increase the supply voltage here uh, to maintain the output power. Uh, but the solution loss will in increase significantly due to the high switch voltage and the current. So we can see the required the required voltage for the different uh, imaginary in this part. And the highest one is uh, 122 volt is required. However, this one is not a good uh, solution uh, because the wide range of uh, input voltage control and uh, high power loss. Here, we propose a uh, solution. The first one is active impedance control. We can add a variety here with active control. Yeah. So uh, this variety can compensate the refractive impedance. Yeah. So the input voltage is easy to use and control the output power for constant <coughs> operation mode and the constant power operation mode. In order to uh, verify the solution, uh, we can put the uh, diode uh, receiver on the transmitter. Yeah. At the distance uh, with 28 millimeter, the uh, 12 millimeter. Yeah. And we can keep the output voltage at the 10 volt and increase the current. Yeah. So the output power uh, can be to the current uh, and the uh, 10 watt the DC DC efficiency uh, is from the input uh, DC to the output DC uh, the efficiency and which is 66 percent the second solution is the LC matching network we can uh, set the impedance uh, of the LC uh, in the reactance is the XF then we can calculate the input impedance under this equation and uh, get the coil current under this equation. Yeah. The good news, good news is that, uh, this current is independent to the refractive impedance. Yeah. So we can control the input voltage easily to control the uh, current and the operate. This one is a uh, transmitter power control circuit. Yeah. Uh, the DC-DC converter controls the output power. The power amplifier uh, drives AC web to drive the transmitter coil. And uh, the MCU control all the transmitter function. If all the function uh, is done by discrete component, uh, it will make uh, the transmitter design complex and expensive. So we can consider to do the integration solution. Yeah. Here is the integrated solution. Uh, we can build this in a single chip solution. Uh, with the solution, we can reduce the external component and uh, simplify the transmitter design. We can get a lower uh, bulk cost small size. Here is an example of the transmitter. Uh, you can see this is the IC RT3181. Yeah, this chip is in QFM 6x6 millimeter packaging. 
uh, this chip uh, can drive the class 3 resonator for 16 watt of power with the LC image network. Here is another example for the uh, transmitter and the receiver. Uh, the transmitter drives the, uh, a phone with the RT3180 receiver inside. Here is the thermal performance. Uh, the temperature of RT3180 is uh, lower than 50 degrees. Inductive wide-wise power. For the inductive transmitter design consideration, uh, we, have, we can follow the WPC standard. Yeah. In this standard, there are 34 uh, type A design and uh, seven type B design and the nine medium power design. You can choose uh, which one is greater for, for our application. Uh, we suggest to use the MCU-based solution because it's a uh, flexible design uh, for power control and uh, the modulation and the demodulation algorithm. Here is the uh, power control method. There are four major control methods. The first one is frequency control. The operation frequency is set at the right hand side of the resonant frequency. The lower frequency can have a higher power. And then we also can control the voltage of the power amplifier and uh, control the switch duty cycle and the phase shift. And, and we can integrate uh, this, this function as a, a chip. Here is the solution. Uh, as as I'll show some uh, picture for the solution. For A11 design, it's the uh, input power is 5 volts. The RT3181 can drive the coil with internal uh, power amplifier. So this one is the cost-effective solution. For A10 design, the input voltage is 19 volts. And uh, uh, this chip uh, drive the coil with the external uh, hub bridge uh, power amplifier and uh, the MOSFET can use the RT9682A uh, DRMOS to enhance the efficiency. For ASIC design, there are three coils. Uh, you can choose one of the coils to drive uh, for the alignment improvement. the MPA5 design, uh, we use uh, uh, voltage control to drive the uh, coil with the external full bridge power amplifier. Yeah. So this one, uh, maximum power is uh, 15 watts. For receiver design consideration, at the receiver side, uh, we have a uh, greater design freedom. For example, we can choose a different coil yeah, and a different uh, power output. Yeah. We suggest to use the high efficient solution uh, to avoid the thermal problems. Yeah. And uh, we can use the capacitive load, uh, load modulation for communication for lower power loss. And uh, complete protection master. Here is the receiver power stage. Uh, in normally the mobile device already have a charger inside. So the integrated solution to be consideration the uh, synchronous rectifier and the voltage regulator. And we can uh, to combine this charger in a single stage in advance. For the function block of this chip, uh, this chip uh, package is very small, in CSP package, 3 by 3.4 millimeter. Yeah. You can build it in a small PCB yeah, in 7 by 7 millimeter. Uh, this block shows the power stage with uh, the fire and the voltage regulator and uh, this one. Uh, 
here is the MCU controller with the interface and the protection function. This is a measured uh, result. Uh, and right, right upside shows the rectifier efficiency. Uh, it could reach 96% at 5.1 and 95% uh, at 7.51 output power. As to the receiver efficiency, it includes uh, the positive regulator. Uh, the result is better than our computer, of course. The, uh, Thermal performance, uh, we have uh, 10 degrees lower than competitor. Here's the example of a uh, low power receiver design. Uh, this product already got a uh, certification, and uh, the system efficiency is from DC input to DC output. We can reach it reach to 80%. Here's another example for the wearable solution. Here, uh, in traditional application, the wearable device have a linear charger here. Uh, the wise power can operate in charge mode, so this linear charge can be removed for higher efficiency. Okay. All features in the wireless charging. The first one is uh, wireless fast charging. For Qualcomm QC 2.0 spec, uh, we need a portable decoder for the USB signal to identify the required voltage and uh, can adjust the uh, wireless power output voltage to meet the fast charge solution. For MediaTek Public Press Plus spec, uh, we do not need uh, the portable decoder. Uh, we can detect uh, the current uh, current pattern to design the uh, output voltage and uh, adjust the output voltage for fast charging. For multiple solution, uh, uh, we can use a spatial design for the uh, resonator support the uh, inductive ball and the resonant ball at different frequency. Here is the uh, uh, example. Uh, with uh, this chip, uh, we can operate uh, at uh, 100 kilohertz and uh, uh, 6.7 and megahertz operation for the uh, multiple operation. We can support uh, RPC and LPO. For merger application, uh, wireless charging is a, a good solution for uh, waterproof, dustproof, and uh, better release application. I think uh, um, you may not want to open the, uh, this football to check the inside or replace the battery. For robot application, yeah, I believe the robot will be smart in the future code of the smart sensor, GPS, and uh, this robot can find the charge station automatically. Uh, and, uh, in the future, we also can combine the solar power station to extend the service range. Summary. Uh, equivalent circuit and uh, efficiency of the cost uh, coil are introduced for coil design and solution. And uh, two solutions for uh, the refractive impedance uh, is proposed. Uh, the one is the active impedance control, and uh, the second one is the LC mentioned network. And also, uh, integrated solution brings uh, benefit to designer, uh, such as the simple design and the less uh, discrete component, uh, and we can have. Uh, Smaller size and the lower bond cost. As the system efficiency can be up to 80 percent, uh, is uh, achievable. And uh, uh, I believe wireless power will uh, bring more application in the future. Finally, which tech is your power partner? Thank you. <laughs>